All right, man. Let's talk about. Uh, let's talk about um, Cam Johnson, Shore Thompson, uh, kind of DeAndre Hunter, Kier Savert, all the alternatives that can start for uh, the Detroit Pistons versus. Uh, well, just this, just the dynamic of Short Thompson. A lot of people are mad like a Short Thompson is, is expecting him to go ahead and start and shit. And I'm not sure he gonna be a day one starter. Um, and where a lot of people basically saying like, should he start? Shouldn't he start? Or or why are we looking for? another small forward when we got a short when we just drafted a short Thompson and my thing is um you need multiple guys that can guard that wing and then just in case he may not be ready to plug in and start right away you still need that defense and that three point shooting now Cam Johnson played a little bit of the four and Phoenix he played some four you know then but obviously the Pistons got, you know, as of right now, the Pistons have multiple matchups at the four spot. As most of y'all already know, they have multiple matchups at the four spot. Bagley, I mean, you can try Stewart there. You can try uh, Oyanovich there. You know, he on the squad right now. I mean, you can even try Wiseman or Dern at the four spot if you have to. So they can match up accordingly at that four spot. So Cam Johnson probably could steal some minutes can start at the four versus most, most fours. You know, you're going against Tobias Harris. You know, you're going against guys like Aaron Gordon and Paolo, who they are a little bit more powerful. But like I said before, you know, he, he's a really good defender, especially on the perimeter. So you can match up accordingly. So Cam Johnson and Short Thompson, they could start in the same lineup together. But the main thing that you're really looking for is, is you know, even more so than shooting, and Troy Weaver spoke on it. Spoke on it at the press conference. Is defense when he restoring this thing called the Detroit Pistons? The defense is the uh, is the main topic, and they are terrible at guarding wings. And obviously, you got Cade and Ivy, yeah, but you you want somebody else to get in there and do the dirty work on the wings too. So you need somebody to take away one of them 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 wings on the. Uh, the wings on the edge, you know, on the end, or you know, the three, the, the small forward on the other team, and then the new power forward is a small forward anyway. So, you know, so they got some decisions. That, you know, they got they need more wings, even keeping Boyanovic and and guy like that. You still need guys that's gonna come in and guard, and that's where you know, obviously DeAndre Hunter get very interested in that because if you don't get Cam Johnson, I feel like Piston fans are comfortable. Trying to get DeAndre Hunter, which Atlanta, I heard they got new ownership. Benjamin Fo said and they trying to, uh, they trying to sh uh, shade down the cap. So they cap room. So DeAndre Hunter, you know, provide you know a nice, you know, little bit more brolic, more more sturdy, stronger guy than Cam Johnson. Guard the one, twos, and threes. Can hit an open shot. It's a cheaper and it's right now it's a cheaper. Um, you know, cancellation prize. It was so funny is that you hear a lot of people complain about how Detroit franchises never spend money. But when you talk about spending big money, you know, then people get all frugal, like it's their pockets. Oh, you're going to spend that amount of money on this guy? Like, bro, I mean, you're going to spend it or you're not going to spend it. So, end of the day, it costs to play. It costs to play. But nonetheless, you still need more assurances behind or in front of a short Thompson right now. What you got is not enough. That's as simple as that. What you got is just simply not enough. So if it's uh, Hunter or Cam Johnson, yeah, you add that to the mix at the end. Then, you know, in, in, in a certain scenario, if it is DeAndre Hunter and you or you don't feel comfortable with Cam Johnson playing the four, 
you know, and obviously a smaller lineup, but he a rangy guy, then you got to go out there and find the four. You know? Um, so, you know, they were talking about Struess, good shooter. Um, there were rumors about Draymond. Like, I don't think they would have him. Well, I don't think Golden State would want to lose Draymond for nothing. So you will be able to sign and trade for Draymond. So you, in reality, you can end up with Draymond and Cam Johnson. Now, do I think Draymond the co complete answer at it? No. I don't think so. But he's a good defender. You lack some shooting there, but he's a willing shooter. So there's a number of different scenarios. So they need, especially if they're going to lose Bojanovic, they need multiple uh, guys at the wing. But the number one thing they're looking for is for wings to be able to defend. If they can defend, if the wings can come in and defend and they can space the floor secondary-wise, then it's gonna, that's going to allow Cade Cunningham and Jay Nivey to they transition to be a lot more smoother going into next season. So, um, But, yeah, you need multiple guys. I mean, either you take Hunter or you take Cam Johnson, then you're looking to add somebody else, you know. And if you want Jeremy Grant back, maybe you could do a sign and trade with Portland, which I wouldn't prescribe that. I'm, I'm all right on him. But he wanted to be a superstar. Don't rebound enough. We can go on and on. But I do think they thinking is they can play Cam Johnson at the four. You know, then maybe they feel like if a short Thompson already, they can get away with Bojanovic at the three. Now, if you had to ask me, me personally, if I felt like I, I, a short Thompson needed a couple years, then maybe I, I do sign Cam Johnson, go pick up DeAndre Hunter, and I roll with Hunter. I roll with K, Ivy Hunter, Cam Johnson, and Dern. That would be my five. If I can hold on to Bojanovic, Burke, Sasser, uh, Livers, they're they going to come off my bench and Wiseman. And your bench, you know, it's packing, this, it's packing the big punch when it comes to shooting the instant offense with Bojanovic and Sasser. So... That's the interesting thing about it. So with Hunter, you might give up some future draft capital and all in addition to that. You may, you know, you might be able to dump some uh I don't know what's the point of having all them sounds out here in on a Tuesday. That's crazy. <laughs> and then you know they gonna pull you over out here. That's so crazy. I got to be agreeing with some some of these old heads in hip hop. Some of these dudes do it to itself. A lot of these wounds are self-inflicted. This is not the area you wanna be doing that in, trust me. I'm trying to pray for people for that. But but yeah, so at that point you you know you could do that and you keep you know you got some good shooting off the bench. But they might they might take some of them expiring contracts like Killian Isaiah Stewart to help nuke that uh to nuke that cap space too for, for Houston. I mean for uh, Atlanta. So they trying to create cap space. Don't be surprised if you don't see Trey on the, on the move, but that's gonna help K, K and Ivy transition, but they still gotta defend. That's going to be their number. They, they got so many hurdles to overcome next year. Talking about team defense, team offense. What they going to do offensively? You know, what's going to be the identity? That still ain't for or begin to start to begin to forge an identity. Brother, brother. I ain't driving the rush hour, dude. I would really prefer to get off at 4.30. <laughs> but, but yeah, they got to forge an identity. They got to. Team defense, offense, you know, and I think, you know, they uh they they identity gotta build be built on defense, but also offensively they need to be in transition and be pushing it and you know, all them young legs and them, them big all them biggest can run, Stewart, Bagley, Wiseman, Duran, all of them get up and down the floor. But I just think they so hell bent on chucking up threes, bruh, that you know, I just be watching them play and it's hard to watch. You can't win like that. In the 17 games they won, the majority of them, they just got hot from three. Or they shot their way back into the game. And obviously, proof's in the pudding since Casey been here. The three ball ain't won your shit. But, you know, now what, what do I know? What do I know? But they got to lock in defensively. And that's that's the primary goal is finding guys that can defend their position and then bringing them all together and defend as a unit. Everybody don't have to be Bruce Bowen, Roger Bell, Tayshawn Prince, Ben Wallace.
But collectively, we got to be a, a defense. No, one thing that starts with defense is communicating. Effort, communicating is two things that every great defense got. They usually start with. You got to have the effort and you got to communicate. You know? So we'll see, man. We'll see. I, I look forward to them this season. I'm excited. I was kind of, I was, I, I was kind of cautiously optimistic last season. Got new Casey, just wasn't a guy for the job, but I think Monty will be. His head completely in the game, and um, you gotta wait and see. So, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Get all notifications. Increase your chance get notifications. We go live or drop a video. Um, financially, you want to support the channel? Cash App, dollar sign CJ Good three one three. But most CJ Good three one three. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. But but yeah, man, I think they gonna you be an opportunity to see them. You know, land a couple wings in free agency. I think that's the only thing they really need left, honestly. Everybody want a superstar. I, I think adding a superstar is just that's kind of like adding Jeremy Grant, who want to be a superstar. That's that's just. That's just adding that's adding unnecessary fuel right now. I need, I need some of these young guys to force their identity. So then you can you know what you can put in a pot. And I talked about that the other day. So pre, uh, but that's what's gotta happen. They gotta figure it out. You gotta get guys that assist to what they do. And you know, kinda think you gotta kinda kinda predict that what they do and get guys that can help them do that. And that's guys who can defend, guys who can space the floor for them. And um that's what it's gonna come down to. And he's spacing and shooting right now. And is it a bonus that somebody can put the ball on the floor and go get a bucket? If you keep Sasha and Boyanovich, you can also always rotate one of them guys in because they can go get you a bucket. You know, Livers can be a playmaker, 3 and D stretch guy. So they got a variety of guys. But I, obviously, like I said uh, Wednesday, on Wednesday, on Tuesday, they got, to, they got to stay healthy is the number one thing. They got to stay healthy. And if they can stay healthy, then then everything else can uh, fall in place for them. So, um, but uh, but yeah, man, check out Detroit Piston Talk playlist. Appreciate y'all for supporting the channel. Uh, don't forget uh, subscribe to the podcast. Give me a rating on there on Spotify. All that's in the link tree. Peace.